Okay, today's project is a charcuterie board and I took this board and I sanded down just the portion where I'm going to be pouring the resin. Now I'm not going to be doing it normal. I am obviously going to do it like my name says with glitter. So in addition to sanding to prep it, you're going to want to tape the back of the board so when the resin does drip, it won't leave big drip marks on the wood on the other side. And you're going to want to have it raised up off of your table. So this is up on little cups. For this first um, resin layer, I'm going to use quick coat epoxy only because I want it to dry quickly and I'm going to be putting these two different color blues and this gold color for the sand on the beach. And I'm going to want it to dry quick and I don't want the, the glitter to move around too much. Not that it will, but I just don't want to take any chances. I mixed up 20 mls of resin and I'm just going to put it on with my finger all around the area where I sanded and you can make any design that you want for your waves eventually we're going to do the waves tomorrow and you want to make sure if you want the edges done uh, make sure you get resin on them I'm going to be coating mine with the resin and also glitter as I fade it from one color to the next so let's get some glitter on this board Learn from my mistakes. Make sure you put a piece of paper or parchment paper or anything underneath the board when you're sprinkling the glitter. I completely forgot until it was too late. So yes, definitely. It was a big cleanup. So I'm just going to take the dark blue and fade them into each other from the dark to the light to the gold. And I'm going to sprinkle each into um, one another just as they kind of fade, if you know what I mean. I guess you'll see it. And then after that, once I saw it sitting there, I did add some iridescent uh, green, greenish blue flakes on top just to mimic some of the glitter that you see in an ocean one in the sunshine. So here I am putting the glitter on and then I'm going to let this dry until tomorrow and then we'll put the waves on.
is done. It's um, all cured. We're ready to add the clear coat and the waves. So I'm just, I mixed up about four ounces of resin. I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny bit to, to uh, make some white for the waves. I'm using Satori White by Eye Candy. It's okay for waves. I really am not using the right white, but it'll do. That's all I have for today. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this work. But there are other ones out there, and I'm going to be getting a different one to make more cells in my white. I'm just going to set um, this white aside, and we're going to spread the remaining resin all over the glitter area and try to keep it on the top. I mean, it will drip over. I do want the sides done, too. So just kind of babysit it. And if too much drips off, what you can do is just scoop it off of your silicone mat or hopefully you're on a silicone mat and just put it on top, back on top, as long as it's still clear. And then we're going to go ahead and let this sit like this for about 20 minutes before we make any waves on here. Okay, it's time to add the waves. I have the wrong spoon, so don't use this little tiny spoon. Get like a little plastic spoon that you can hold a little more resin because I did struggle getting this on. So you're just going to go, and this is 20 minutes later. So I've been letting the clear sit on this board for 20 minutes before I do this. I'm trying to get it thickened up enough so it doesn't all blow off the board when I bring the heat gun to it. So just get your white border along the edge of this, and then we'll get the heat gun and we'll try to make some waves.
I do want to mention that did when I did um, use the heat gun, it did blow some of the resin off the edge and it did leave some dry spots. So what I did for the next 30 minutes is I just watched it and I took that little spoon that I had, I cleaned it off and I, I scooped up the extra resin off of the silicone and I put it back into the bald spots. And I kept doing that until the resin gelled up enough that it wasn't still dripping over the side. So you'll, we'll have to babysit a board like this. Okay, it's the next day, it's all cured, everything looks good. And I'm going to take this X-Acto knife because I wanna get the backing off where we you know, put the tape so we wouldn't drip onto the wood. So I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna score very carefully. You don't wanna cut yourself all on the edge of the board. So where that tape meets the edge is where I'm scoring this and then the tape peels right off pretty well. And then we're gonna go ahead and sand the back of this, scrape off any other parts that are sticking up kind of that will cut your hand and you don't wanna sand forever. So just take your knife and scrape them off and then we're gonna sand it down nice and smooth and get some oil on the back. Okay guys, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. I know it's a little longer video than I like to make, but this had a lot of steps. So I'm just going to rub, I did clean off the back of, from all the sawdust. So do clean the back and then take some cutting board oil and rub onto the wood. And I did also rub it onto the front as well. And I thank you guys all for coming in today. Please like and subscribe. That does help me support me so I can make you more tutorials. If you enjoy them, let me know know, please leave me a comment. I do love to read all the comments and I will see you guys on the next video. Hang on and wait for the final product. Have a blessed day, everyone. Mm -hmm.